answering for me service. Thank you for your time. <gasps> So, Hector, no hostages, no terrorists, just an abandoned laptop in an abandoned building. Why, one could almost say there haven't been any crimes committed at all. Except for the 37 cops who'll be spending tonight in a heap. Ah, a trifle. Merely a speck in the eye of a grand man. Look, I'm sure it's a great story and all, but can we get on with this? I feel like I've been staring at this rifle for over a year. Ah, uh, Hector, always the here and now and never the wider scope. Fine, have it your way. Hope you don't mind if I don't stick around for what I'm sure will be profound parting words. The rifle you see before you is powered by a laptop containing highly sensitive face recognition software. Take one step closer and you'll be eating that pizza with a side order of garlic bread. <laughs> Shove it, you bellend. Laser guided lobotomy is but a sneeze away. He said not one step closer, but he never mentioned anything about one step sideways. And apparently one step is all I'm gonna get. Just my luck. Why couldn't this have been sweet chili? Down to me last slice. No, don't do it. I can't believe I just ruined a perfectly last slice of pizza. Oh, well, I'll still find a way to force it down, I'm sure. Oh, come on. What a waste. Look, you've ruined me last slice. Me life's hanging by a thread here. Can we stop with a bloody tutorial? Piss off! Okay, nice and slow. Hmm, nothing back there but a jumble of old wire. Still, you never know. Wiry. If this had been a slapstick comedy instead of an action drama, that plate probably would have smacked me in the face. It's like a fishing rod of childhood, mate, the kind that usually catches sweet bugger all. This ought to mess with that facial recognition bollocks. Here it goes. It's a shame there's no one round to see this. That even challenged my suspension of disbelief. I wonder if this is one of those check and see if it's dead moments, like in horror films. Those never turn out so well. <sighs> Seems like a logical next step. Satisfying. Right, let's hit the pub. Bloody beeping's getting louder. Can't be good. What in the name of all things, Bran? Oh, hell. Oh, I can't even be asked running for me life. Well, anything? No, nothing at all. Right, we're going to need another volunteer. Ah, unlucky. Oh well, job done, people. Pack up and move out. Let's see the pub, lads. What? Oh, 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 what about the hostages and Hector? Sir, look at the mess of that building. No one's coming out of there alive now, are they? It's a shame about Hector. He'll be missed. Bright side, sir. Terrorist also dead. Victory in its own cruel way. Well... Well, I suppose, but... You've been through a lot today, sir. Why don't we head back to the station, pour ourselves a couple of celebratory brandies fit for two heroes, eh?
Oh yes, Brandy, lead on. Perhaps we should commission a commemorative plaque in honor of the courageous Hector. Well, we can certainly discuss it, sir. It might be just what the men's lavatories need to give them a lift. Hector, if there's a chance you're still in there, I'll never lose hope. Permanent damage, I hope. Nothing like falling through four floors of masonry to put perspective on a hangover. I'm never going to complain about a night out on the piss ever again. Oh, fixed a crick in me back though. Small victories. Rifle didn't survive the trip down. But forensics might still be able to pull something off it. I've got one hand in my pocket and the other one is... Bugger, I'm out of cigarettes. Isn't it ironic? Fingers crossed the rest of the bleeding building's more useful than this room. Thank God, I'm bursting out both sides. Uh, you may want to avert your eyes. <laughs> Please, Hector. Anything. Just any little sign. Let me know you're alive. <gasps> I recognize that. Hector, it's you. Hector? Hector? Are you there? Come in! Oh, God. Wouldn't go in there for at least a fortnight. Hector? Huh? Did, did that Lou just say my name? Oh, happy day it is you. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> this is a new one, even for me. Hector, it's me, Lambert. Oh, Lambert, for a minute there I was... Oh, never mind. Put one of the demolition boys on so they can get me out of here. Uh, can't. They've, they've gone home. They what? Well, when I say home, I mean pub. Look, don't worry, boss. I'm on this. I've got sledgehammers, explosives, screwdrivers, coloured keycards. Everything we need to get you out of this jam sandwich is right here in the trusty van. Thank God. You mean for once I don't have to come up with some kind of nice solution using only discarded objects? Lambert? Lambert? You still there? Lambert? Oh. <laughs> Actually, boss... Buggeration, Lambert. What have you done wrong this time? I I'm gonna get cracking on that improvising thing you mentioned. Brill, super cop. If I need you again, which I seriously doubt, I'll just come and yell at this turd. Ah, uh, whatever makes you feel better, sir. I've run out. Sweet, merciful Hubert H. Christmas on a mechanical bull. Why can't things ever be easy? Okay, Lambert, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Time to shine. Hector's trapped, time is running out, the rest of the squad has gone home, and you're flying solo. Plus, you've lost your truck full of tools, so your only weapons are your keen sense of observation and your wits. Oh, crumbs, Hector's doomed. Oh, that's so clever. In my experience, there's always handy stuff in discarded fridges. Oh! Ahoy, young dapper sir! Don't you drink for a penny? Oh, that's so cute! I don't think I have a penny, though. Have you got change of a tenner? A tenner? What's that? I ain't never heard of that much money, sir. 
<laughs> oh, well, could have used a bit of dancing today. It's been a bit of a downer. Oh, this trolley's seen better days. Hey, can I have this old trolley? It depends. Will you be my daddy? Oh, well. Oh, go on. You seem such a nice fella. You can take it. But remember where you got it. Sure thing. Right next to the revolting germ soap rubbish tip. Thanks, little sport. <laughs> Hey, I thought we cordoned off this area. I should know, I was appointed official cordoner. Mix gave me a sash and everything. <coughs> Could I please just borrow your shoe? I'll bring it right back, good as new. Yeah, that Curly. Can he have your shoe? <coughs> Go on then. Citizens, please retreat from the exclusion zone and structurally unsound building. You police? You're gonna arrest us for being too sexy? <laughs> Sorry, darling, I keep the volume down. Where are you girls looking to get to? Marital registration office on Gilbert Road. Today's our wedding day. Well, shouldn't you be off getting ready for the big day? We are ready, you plonker. What, you say we look like a couple of skanks? You look lovely. She's all set to walk down the aisle and I'm her virgin bridesmaid, okay. Just need to get there first. I'll see if I can arrange transport for you. Mate, if you can get us a set of wheels, I'll give you ten minutes behind the tip. I don't accept bribes, and I'm a bit of a germaphobe, to be honest. Uh, I'm referring to the rubbish tip. I didn't mean... Oh, God, this isn't going well. Maybe I could use this shoe to pry off this vent. Huh? Kaylee's going to be very displeased. Why do I always do stupid things when it comes to women's shoes? This thing's got the tensile strength of a railroad spike, but it's the width of an Ardox nail. Surely I can find a use for it, whatever it is. Lou with a view. Perfect. That ought to all be weight. Well, the weight of an average human, anyway. Let's see what happens when I do this. Blimey, I think that went all the way outside. Hey, Lambert, I'm sending myself out to you one piece at a time. No! <laughs> That's quite handy. <laughs> Got it, Hector. It worked. Here you are, little fella. Try this. It, it's so beautiful. I love it so. You don't need that nasty old hook anymore. Oh, me old mate Hooky's been a real friend all these years. 
a horrible, nasty, scabby, chafing friend. <laughs> Old Bojo's gonna choke on his roast pheasant when he sees the lineup at my shoe shine stand. Oh, thank you, sir. Anything you need from me, you can have it. The hook? It's yours. Isn't it great when you do someone a favour and they think you're doing it for them, but you're really doing it for you? It's win-win. Yo ho ho! Now where's the sodding rum? It's all that's left of that laptop from upstairs. Our tech lab guy will love this. He communicates politely with anything that isn't human. No sign of an exit, but bloody hell. This place looks like an abattoir in a blimmin' Quincy What's-His-Face movie. Finally, a clue I can relate to. A good murder investigator always carries his own mop. Much as I hate doing things by the book, I should probably take a sample of this for evidence. Oh, here we are. Perhaps when they find me one day in the far future, they can pry it from me cold, dead fingers to solve the case. Thank goodness I got to this plastic knife before it fell into the plastic hands of them plastic dummies in the basement. I could go fishing for sharks with this. Really, really dumb sharks. Wilps. Two make four. Two. Four. Yeah, that's right. It's part of my job to keep knives off our city streets. Good enough for value land. Surprise! Look what I fixed up nice, a set of wheels. Aren't you a darling? At the risk of sounding a little weird, are either of you carrying anything explosive? Yeah, just this jumbo-sized bottle of Last Blowed Puff Ends. Right, jump in, Kaylee. Whoa! Oh, for Christ's sake! Come on, Kaylee. You want to make the wedding after all. Congratulations, he's a very lucky man. Return it to Value Land, you'll get your pound back. Say, uh, what's that little wooden thing you're playing with? You like it? I made it myself from 483 matchsticks. 
It's a scale model of my dream house, complete with tiny little match family. Oh, that mustn't have been easy with a hook for a hand. It took me six years, nights and weekends. This new hand, I should be done in an hour, though. Just think, one day you could build yourself a real house out of really big matches. That'd almost be my dream come true. All I'd need then is a family who'd adopt me. <laughs> So, this house, why? My only dream in life is to live in a humble house with a family I can call me own. Maybe with one of them flat screen 3D TVs in my bedroom. I know that's never going to happen, you see. You never know. Hold on to your dreams, I say. I always dreamed I'd be a policeman and look at me now, poking about in a soiled trash heap. <laughs> You really shouldn't be playing with matches, you know. But they're fun. But they're dangerous. Yeah, but they're also fun. What would I need to do for you to get a match? Keeping in mind I already improved your life with that hand. Well, sir, there's only one other thing I could possibly want. But you've been so kind already, I'm afraid to ask. Go on, it's okay. The worst I can do is laugh in your face. Well, will you be my daddy? <laughs> well, my wife Philomena's always talked about kids. You... you mean it? She's always saying I'll never do anything right and I can't make a decision on my own. Imagine her surprise if I came home with a new son. Okay, I'll do it. Call me Papa. Oh, sir, you wouldn't be putting me on, would you? Not a chance, son. You won't be needing your dream house anymore. My house may not be made of matches, but it's a match made in heaven for a lucky young boy like you. Oh, Daddy, I thought this day would never come. Don't hug me until you've had a long bath. Until then, make your way down to number 73 Pillock's Way. You'll know it by the blue door and stone cladding. Oh, just wait until you see it, boy. Instead of a house inside a fridge, there's a fridge inside the house. Oh, Father, finally I'm a real boy. I'll meet you there. Philomena's going to be so surprised. She can help me pick a name for the little fella. Wait, hang on. Oh, little tyke's stolen my wallet. That's all right. I'll get them back off him later, back at the house. Joys of parenting. They're always up to something, those rascals. Need to be really careful with it. It's like I'm carrying his dreams. There. seems to be shaking a bit. Oh, crumbs! There's something in there. Oh, what if it's a badger? I hate badgers. Oh, uh, police! I'm about to open the boot. Hands where I can see them. Never mind, you seem a little busy right now. Mm. Sir, I'm going to attempt to remove the tape so that we may converse freely. To do so, I may come in contact with your face. Do you wish for me to proceed? Mm -mm. I'll ask again. Do you wish for me to proceed? Mm -mm. I'll assume you mean yes. If you're harmed in this process, you may make a report to my superior. <coughs> oh, thank me lucky flipping stars for flip's sake. Me life's in the hands of Officer Git for brains. Hmm, not even a thank you. What day is it? Um, Tuesday, I think. No, yes, definitely Tuesday. Tuesday. What is it, morning, afternoon? It's 3.49 and 26 seconds, post-meridian. Oh, is that all? I've barely been in here an hour. And there I go already, urinating in me own trousers. I'll oh, flip me. Stay calm, 
I'm all over this. Oh, Brill. I'll just wait here then. 